Hi listeners, stories have so much power and so does whoever controls the narrative. It is time that we dissect and analyze these stories. I am Vipul and this is Vogue Tales. Hi everyone. This is a story of wronged lovers, a Chinese fairy tale taken from the 1974 reprint of Ruth Manning Sanders' A Book of Charms and Changelings. This is a story of Chien Nang, who is torn between her father and the love of her life. She figures out a way how to be with both, but will we find out who is real and who is the changeling? On that note, it's story time. A wealthy man with a beautiful daughter called Chien Nang employs his nephew Wang Cho to do his accounts and is horrified when the cousins fall in love. Not because they are related, that wasn't so unusual in the past, but because he's got another richer man in mind. So he sends his nephew off to the river and take a boat and find work elsewhere. The key word in this sentence being elsewhere. Wang Cho sails all day. At nightfall, he draws into the shore and lies staring at the stars, thinking about the girl he's left behind. Then suddenly, there are footsteps close behind him, and Chien Nang herself jumps barefoot into the boat. "I must come with you," she exclaims. "I will come with you. I love no one but you. I will wed no one but you." So they sail away together to a new city and a new life. Wang Cho becomes a scribe. not the most glamorous of occupations and not very well paid but they are together and they are married and for 5 years they are very happy then she and nang's conscience begins to nag at her she wants to see her father to find out whether he has forgiven her elopement and wang chu agrees but when they reach her former home he insists she remains in the boat until he is sure that her father isn't angry He certainly doesn't expect to be seized the moment he comes in his uncle's sight and hugged like a lifeline. It's a promising start though. Wang Chu explains that he and Chien Nang are married and they're happy that she's waiting on the river and wants to see her father again. Which is news to him because as far as her father is concerned, she's lying close to death in her bed, too heartsick to live. The two men look at each other and basically think Oh dear, he's lost the plot. Nephew, Chien Nang's father says at last, "Whomsoever you married, it was not my daughter, and whoever is in the boat, it is not Chien Nang." See now, I will order my servants to carry her down here into the garden. Wang Chu responds by hurrying back to the river to fetch his wife. When the servants go to carry their patient from her bed, though, they find a laughing girl brimming over with health. She runs from the house just as the girl in the boat runs into the garden and the two leap into each other's arm melting together into one whole. So which was the real Chien Nang and which was the changeling? The wise men of China argued about that for a long long time. But let them argue as they would, they could not decide. And if Chien Nang herself knew, she never told them. The end. to which i say she knew all right and i'm hoping the real girl was the one who ran off got married and had a nice life as opposed to being on deathbed but maybe they were both real either way she knew what she wanted and came up with a way to make that happen i love that she keeps her secret if i knew how to split myself into clones i don't think i'll tell anyone either on that note bye for now Let me know your thoughts on the story and our discussion by emailing me on woketalespodcast at gmail dot com or through social media at woketalespodcast on Instagram and woketalespod on Twitter. And please rate, review, and like Woketales Podcast, and don't forget to subscribe so you can easily access our weekly stories. If you have any story recommendations or if you want to come dissect and analyze a story with me, give me a shout out on email. 
or social media because whatever you do, keep dissecting and keep analyzing.